Orienteering is a sport for all ages, all shapes and sizes, and all ability levels. You can participate for fun and fitness. Or you can represent your club, state, or even your country. All you need to orienteer is a map and a compass. The map will have your course marked on it. Water is always provided. And you wear a small receiver on your finger to register your visits to each marker. The aim is to complete your course as fast as possible. The countryside varies, but is usually hilly, with plenty of trees. So getting scratches and bumps is always a possibility, as well as wet feet, or sometimes just plain wet. Getting lost also happens, as bush orienteering uses private property, national parks, reserves, or state forests. Urban orienteering uses schools, parks, and universities. Park and street orienteering began many years ago in Sweden. In Switzerland, Daniel Hubmann, who is seven times world orienteering champion, is nearly as well known as Roger Federer. The landscape in Australia is a bit different to Europe, and it's not all about the competition. Orienteering is a family sport where you can spend time together outside. Friends are made who sometimes stay friends for life. Relays are fun with their mass starts, and when competing in teams of three, a sprint finish is always exciting. After an event, there's lots of discussion about which route was good or bad. And sometimes, there's even a celebration afterwards. So yes, we do run. It's a race. Orienteering is navigation on the run. So all those things your mother told you about watching where you're going, they don't apply. You don't always have to run if you don't want to, especially uphill. But it's best to know where you are. Or where you think you are. And above all else, have fun.